What in the world is this? Well, let me turn the lights on, you'll see. There we go. What we have here is um, some optic fibers that you can see. And um, each fiber, we'll get to optic fibers a little bit later in the chapters to come. Um, each fiber is collecting the light down at the base, and then of course it is transmitting that light within the fiber and it comes out the end. That's what you were seeing in the darkness. Now the reason why I'm showing this to you is because we're looking at um, the properties of light as a particle and what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, using a different type of, of fiber and it's going to be this one right here. And what's interesting about this one is that it looks like it's glowing at the end. And it is and it looks like this one's gluing at the end. I can cover up this end though, and it's not attached to any light source. And I can do the same thing from this end, and there is the light. So how is this happening? Well, there's um, a, um, a phosphorescent or fluorescent stain on the inside of this fiber. And what it's doing is it's capturing the light coming in from the light source, and the light's bouncing on the inside of this fiber, and the light is then um, coming out the end, and that light is then um, can be um, seen very, very visually. So we're going to walk through this. This is very similar to, to, to lecture, and um, we're going to read through this and go through each of these, these questions. So previously we learned that light is a wave and has many different wavelengths, and that range between um, 400 nanometers, or nm, that's the violet light, and 700 nms, which is the red light. Read below to see how light also behaves as a particle. So again, when we measure the nanometers, this is the wavelength, and this is how it acts as a wave. This is how it acts as a particle. If you remember the um, diffraction that we did with the, with the laser, and we have this here, we can see it being um, um, split and amplified in certain regions. That's um, light as a wave. This is as a particle. And as a um, photon of, of light comes in, a collision with a moving particle excites the atom. So this is the photon of light that's coming in. So here's the electron that's going around in a shell. This causes an electron to jump to a higher level. This is stage two. And then the electron then falls back down to the lower level, and it releases all that energy in the form of light. So that's what we have. We have light that comes in, and we have a different um, form of light that, that comes out. So we're going to go through each of these questions. So we have an optic fiber. Allow it to be exposed to light and record your observations down below. What you see is that with this, both of these ends appear to glow. So that's what I'd like you to record. The ends of the fiber glow. And this is place the fiber in your hand and then close the palm so that one end is exposed. So hopefully you're able to see the intensity of, of this light here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cover half of it. Let's see. Let me get it in there. There we go. So um, the bottom half of this is going to be exposed to the light, and the top half is going to be right there. Um, what happens if I um, remove my hand more? Um, or if I actually put more of this up towards my hand. So I'm putting more of this in my hand, more of it in my hand, more of it in my hand. What's happening to the intensity of the light? I'm going to try to push this back down. Now most of it's hanging out down below. And what's happening to the intensity? The more that it's exposed to the light, the brighter that it's going to be. So again, I'm going to push this back up towards my hand and what happens is it becomes less and less and less bright. Okay, so it all depends upon how much light is coming, coming in. So when we have more light, it's brighter. More light is equal to 
brighter, the less light that you have, it's going to get dim. So what we're gonna do is, this says to lay it on a, on the, on a countertop and then to cover it with a red filter. But it might be very hard for you to see um, what is actually happening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, put this filter so you can see it, and I'm gonna slowly um, push the light um, up, and hopefully you'll be able to see what happens to the intensity as it's being hidden by the, um, the red filter. So I'm gonna be facing this into the light and we'll see what happens to the intensity. So here's the original intensity, okay? Now I'm pushing it up towards the top. And now it's completely um, in line of the, um, the filter. So did anything happen? Let me bring this back down again. More is exposed right here. Okay, and less is exposed right right here. Let me try this again. So you can see that. Let's try this. It's kind of hard to see. Okay, that's when more of it is exposed right there and more of it's being blocked by the, by the filter. Can you see what's happening? I hope you can. What's happening is, it, is it's being covered by the red filter. It's getting dimmer. So the red filter, what it does is it causes this um, fiber strand to become dimmer when you cover it up. Let's go to the next question. So we are now gonna be removing the red filter. We're gonna be covering this with a blue filter. I'm gonna try the same effect right here, okay? So here is the light intensity, and then I'm going to hide it behind the blue filter. Okay, so it's now completely hidden by the blue filter. What's happened to the intensity? Well, nothing has really happened to the intensity. Here's this, and then here's this. Look how bright that it is. Let me try to bring the red one back over. Here's this here, and then putting the filter here, or the fiber here, blocked, versus here. So here it's completely blocked by the red filter. Here it's completely blocked by the blue filter. And we can see that the, um, the blue filter still has a very, very high intensity of, of light. So what happens to the intensity? Compare this to the red filter. So with the blue filter, with the red filter, what we had is um, it became dimmer. With the blue filter, it's actually, it's brighter compared to the red. Blue filter is brighter compared to the red. So why is this happening? So let's go back to the red filter. Which colors of light are blocked by the red filter? Which colors of light are able to pass through the red filter? Well, if we put this in front of the light, we can see red. Okay, there's a red light on this paper right now. So that means that red light must be passing through. What is it doing? Therefore, it's blocking the cooler colors of light in the filter. So this filter actually blocks the blue light and allows the red light to pass through. So which of them are being, being blocked? We have the blue colors or the cooler colors. The cooler colors are going to be blocked. Which of them, so those are being blocked. Which ones pass through? The, um, actually, the yeah, cooler colors are blocked, and therefore the warmer colors are being able to pass through the red. Warmer colors pass through. Okay, with the blue filter, it's the opposite. So here's the filter, and the paper becomes blue. 
So that means blue must be passing through because it's making my paper blue. So this is blocking the other colors. So what's blocked by the blue is the warmer colors are blocked. Warmer colors are blocked. And what's passing through are the cooler colors. Cooler colors pass through. Okay, which color of light ranging through Vib Gyor appears to have the most energy? Explain using violet light, lowest at 400, and the red light at, at 700. Okay, so let's kind of do this Vib Gyor here again. So we have Vib Gyor. Down here, again, we have 400 nanometers, and up here we have 700 nanometers. So, Again, which of these is allowing more light, more, has more energy? We have the blue filter, which is allowing the cooler colors to pass through with lots of energy. Here, what's happening is we have the cooler colors are being blocked, and the warmer colors are passing through. Since the cooler colors are blocked, it's not really having a lot of energy. So the particles inside the fiber um, that fluoresce are not absorbing the light because the cooler colors are being blocked. So it appears that the cooler colors have more, more energy. So um, more of the cooler colors, the blue light passes through. So there's more energy down with the cooler colors. So the blue filter blue filter allows more light and more energy to pass through. Okay, and if you remember from uh, your lecture notes, we talked about the difference between visible light and ultraviolet light. Which of them has more energy? And it's ultraviolet light. So things on this end over on the electromagnetic scale, going this way, has more energy. So the lower the wavelength, the more energy that it, that it has. Okay, the scientist um, Planck discovered that energy is directly proportional to frequency. Here's frequency as the F. The following formula represents um, this with E is energy, H is what's called Planck's constant, and F is frequency. According to the formula, what type of frequency of light produces the most energy? Well, what's going to produce the most energy, higher energy? Planck's constant is a constant, so it's not going to change. What does the frequency have to be if we're going to be having higher energy? It's directly proportional, so we have to have a higher frequency. So higher frequencies produces more energy. The following formula represents the speed of light. Speed of light um, is equal to wavelength times frequency. So if we have a higher frequency, remember the speed of light is going to be constant, what does my wavelength have to be? Remember, frequency and wavelength are inversely proportional. So if this is not going to change, we have to have a lower wavelength. So from problem eight, if the higher frequencies of light have the most energy, what wavelengths of light have the most energy? Your cooler colors have the most energy. So the lower the wavelength equals the cooler colors, and the cooler colors have more energy. That's why when you go to um, this, which is allowing the cooler colors to pass through, it's glowing more. This is blocking the cooler colors, and it's glowing less. So I have another um, demonstration to share with you. I have four filters right here. I have red, yellow, blue, and violet. According to what we've just learned here, um, which of these are going to allow more light to pass through? Okay, The cooler colors 
are going to be the cooler filters because these are going to allow the cooler colors to pass through. These are going to allow the warmer colors to pass through. Well, underneath this is a fluorescent paper that glows in the dark. Okay, it's going to absorb the photons of energy. And then what's going to happen is um, it will then absorb those photons. It will release the um, energy in the form of light. So I'm going to hold this up to the light for a few seconds. And then I'm going to turn the light off. And I'm going to take off those filters. And we're going to see which of these is going to glow the most. Okay, over here is the yellow. Over here is the blue. You can see the blue is glowing a little bit more than the yellow. Here's the purple. And here is the red. So you can, hopefully you can see this. Let me see. Oh, that's not good. Um, 